Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we're gonna to be taking a look at this. This is the ClearClick Retro AM FM radio with Bluetooth, and it's a cathedral radio styled vintage radio that also has that Bluetooth capability that's quite popular today. I'm very excited about this, you guys. I got some very cool ideas of things we can test with this. Also, I'm gonna to have to open it up. We're gonna to have to look inside. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. This is Recordology. Okay guys, and here it is. And this thing looks so cool, you guys. I love these vintage uh, radios that are modern on the inside, but have a vintage look to them. In fact, I like all technology that does that. I think that's a really cool thing. So AM, FM radio, and Bluetooth. It's pretty simple, uh, but it's got a very cool design aesthetic. Check this out, you guys. Five year warranty. You can't go wrong with that. So. It's going to be really, really cool. Although, when I open it up here in a little bit, we're going to void that warranty. But, you know, I just can't help myself. I want to see what's on the inside. I'm way too curious. So, all right, let's go ahead and unbox it here. Been looking forward to this for some time. On top here, we've got the uh, owner manual. Hold on to this, guys. It's got that five-year warranty card on there. Pull off the top piece, and there it is, wrapped in plastic. All right. Let's see, there's just some uh, blocking material in there. We'll set that aside now. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. Yeah. It'll be pretty simple. This thing looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a slightly miniature, like a three quarter size cathedral radio. Very, very cool. Looks like this uh, tuning knob isn't attached. Let's see if we can hook that up here in a minute. But, you know, man, look at, I love the wood. I just love this thing. This is so, so cool. Clear click. Awesome, you guys. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to get that knob popped back on there. Hopefully that's a simple fix. I think this is the remnants of some glue. Uh, I think this will be pretty self-explanatory. Nothing looks broken, so hopefully, yeah, it's as simple as that. Cool, easy fix. And that happens, guys. Sometimes knobs pop off from shipping. And while we're here, check this out. See, it's pretty simple. I mean, you got the on and off volume control. You got the AM, FM, Bluetooth switch, and the tuning dial. Let's take a look around the base here. I love the finish of this wood. Just gorgeous. On the back here, we've got our power cord, antenna, and back of the unit with some venting holes. Taking it apart should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna remove these screws. Again, that's gonna void your warranty. Don't do that because you could shock yourself and you'll void your warranty. And look at the front of this, I just love it. When I see stuff like this, when I see this like vintage looking tech, I just can't help myself. I just wanna play vintage stuff on it. So we're not even gonna listen to modern music or anything on it. We're gonna to listen to like an old broadcast, like an old time radio thing on there. Um, also, I think we'll bypass the, well, we'll listen to the AMFM radio a little bit. I wanna make sure the sound is good, you know, before we give a thumbs up on this and recommend it. Uh, but I really wanna hear just like this old time stuff through it. So, and we're gonna take it apart. But before we do that, let's go ahead and test out that AMFM radio. Okay, so we're gonna put this to FM. There's monsters right outside. What is happening? working right now. This report sponsored by Scandinavian Designs. There is a wreck. That's West pretty impressive sound. Beautiful sound. I can actually pick something up. He just he just not as much a creature of the current media moment. actually impressive that is impressive I was not expecting that full range of sound you know to come out of this by the way I've got the microphone facing the unit so if my voice sounds a little lower than usual um, that's why this thing has real wood you guys too that is not fake wood I just love the design you know it makes me think of families you know back in the 30s gathering around you know a larger version of this, a radio, whether it be a you know tabletop radio or a floor standing radio, and really just enjoying family entertainment together. Can you imagine, you know, everybody in, in in your family now getting around a radio to listen to a radio show? 
and uh, the quality of content that they had back in the day. So luckily we can recreate that uh, through the magic of Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my phone to this and we're gonna test out the Bluetooth capabilities. Okay, so on the device, we just flipped it back to Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on the phone on. Okay, cool. So right there, vintage radio. And we should hear a sound that it's connected. There it is. It's all connected. So now we can uh, play whatever source we want and give it a listen. And now we are going to step back in time to December 12th, 1937 and listen to a little Jack Benny, which would have been coming out of a radio that looked a lot like this. The Jello program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston and Phil Harris, this orchestra. The orchestra opens a program with Life Begins at Sweet Sixteen from Scandals. Smooth, rich, and delicious. Try this brand new dessert tomorrow, but just be sure you make it with the one and only genuine Jello. We're a little late, so good night, folks. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Christmas Eve, Moonlight Serenade, and Chesterfield time with Glenn Miller, and he really has a stocking full of tunes. Okay, that's awesome. Sorry. Thank you for letting me do that. <laughs> I just think that's the coolest thing ever. Okay, without further ado, let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Pull up a chair, won't you, as we take this thing apart. Now, let me preface this with the obvious. Don't do this. This is gonna void your warranty. If you're like me, it's likely you won't be able to get it back together in one piece, at least not working. And it's just not a good idea. It could be dangerous. There's electrical things in there. This is definitely not something you should be doing. However, I specialize in things I shouldn't be doing, so I'm going to do it. Also, you know you're a geek if you have a screwdriver like this. Although it's pretty handy, it's small. I never seem to have enough screwdrivers around the house, and if I do find them, they're like this, just like little toy ones or whatever. I'd really like a nice, you know, actual screwdriver set. Let's go ahead and take the screws off. Make sure it's unplugged. Big reveal. Let me get the light a little better there. All right, what is inside of this thing? Oh, uh, interesting. Check that out. Let's look a little closer. Okay, so the back panel here, we've got some glue holding in these connections. Right in here we've got the transformer for the power. Behind that we've got the circuit board, which is you know right behind where that front panel is, all the knobs and everything. Is that little blue chip in the bottom right? I believe that's the Bluetooth transmitter. Um, and that you know kind of coiled rod thing sticking out right here. I believe that's the FM antenna. But that's about all there is. There's not a whole lot to see, you guys. It's neat to see the construction inside there. It's like a, you know, a fiberboard material with wood blocking and obviously wood trim and stuff on the outside. Changing up the angle a little bit. So we've got a four ohm, five watt speaker and you can kind of see the inside top of the uh, radio itself. But that's all there is to it. There's nothing on the sides. It's just that one board and then the power stuff that we already looked at here on the edge. And that's all there is to it, you guys. All of that happens with uh, not much equipment, but interesting anyway. All right, guys, I hope you thought that was fun. Okay, guys, and there it is. If you want to get your hands on this awesome little device, check the link in the description below. Also, have you been watching our Vlogmas? What are you talking about? I'm talking about a nightly show that we've been doing all this month. It's going to be December 1st through December 25th, and we're going to join you daily for all kinds of cool Christmas celebrations and, you know, just neat whatever. You have no idea. It's like a grab bag of different things that we're going to be doing. We go all over the place and check out all kinds of cool stuff. It's not specific to records or technology necessarily yet, uh, but, you know, we do all kinds of different stuff. You're not going to want to miss that. So check that out. That's every single night, most of this month. So definitely hit the bell button and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss those notifications or just check out the videos. Also, this is the first tease I'm going to give. We're going to be doing something really cool this year on Christmas. We're going to be giving away a Christmas present. That's right. And you could win that Christmas present. What is it? How do you win? You have to stay tuned to the channel to find out. But in the meantime, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. For watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.